Hi, I'm Linda Glover Gooch, and I'm here at the Grand Canyon for the Celebration of Art. I live in Mesa, Arizona, so I've had an opportunity to come up here. Um, I've been in the Celebration of Art 11 times, so it's been a real honor, um, just a real great privilege to do it, and the Grand Canyon is a beautiful place, and really enjoying it. Um, I've been painting for about 53 years. I started when I was a kid. So that's not that long ago. <laughs> well, when I was a kid, I was actually at a friend's house and in their garage, they had a studio set up. So someone in the house was a painter and I just was kind of drawn over to all the supplies and the brushes and the tubes and all that. And then my folks were kind of creative. My dad Drew and my mother always had artsy stuff going on around the house, so it, it was kind of around me as a kid growing up. I have been in it since the very beginning and took one year off, I think in 2016, but otherwise I've been here every year, so it's been good. What tips? Well, I would actually come up here and look the place over first and get an idea and a feeling, you know, of what it looks like and do it at different times of days and in different areas because it's pretty massive. And then simplification would be the name of the game. If they've never painted here, just really work towards um, zooming in up and simplifying their subject matter, which is probably not really a word that works at the Grand Canyon, but I would try the, you know, those things just to really um, familiarize yourself with it and then try to work simple in the beginning. Um, one of my favorite places is Moran Point. I usually always visit Moran Point. I've been there twice this week. And then I also like up on the rim, just some of the pullouts, they don't really have a name, but I love the, um, just the massive quietness there of, uh, you know, there's just a few areas up there where the birds have a tendency to really hang out in the rocks right beneath and you can always see them flying. So I have a few places up there, but probably my favorite point is Moran Point. Well, obviously it's affected me like everybody. Um, I had three workshops, you know, that didn't go, but although we were able to make one of them up later in the summer. So I've pivoted a little bit with my teaching and, and I'm building an online course right now that will probably launch in another month or so. So I've just had to sort of um, really look at how I taught and in the studio um, start, you know, developing an online course. So uh, there was a huge learning curve in that for sure. And then just, you know, buckling down and trying to just paint and stay positive, period. Just, you know, not, not get down and not get worried. I refuse to do that because that doesn't help you in any way, shape or form, but just staying positive and just keep moving and creating and, and just plan on things going, going better. <laughs> Only up from here. Um, well, here in Arizona, I show with Mountain Trails Gallery in the Talakapaki Village in Sedona. So uh, I, I show there, and then I'm in two galleries in Colorado, if they're in Colorado, in Durango and Boulder, um, the Sorrel Gallery in Durango, and then Mary Williams Fine Art in Boulder. And then I show with the Loom Gallery in St. George, Utah. And then I always have people, you know, the studio is open um, by appointment if people want to stop by the studio in Mesa. <laughs>